So here's basically what it would look like when it's all screwed together and glued together. It's going to be a see-through. You can see the magnet of the subwoofer, LEDs. This thing's a monster for a 10-inch woofer, by the way. Subwoofer, 3200 watts max, and it's 30 pounds. So, I've used it for two days, and I was pretty impressed. But this enclosure is going to be way different. Like I said, it's going to have, it's going to have a horn type of vent coming out the bottom. It's going to have plexiglass with LEDs. And the vent is going to be like a horn. That's why it's shaped like a shoe on the side. Because that's actually the mouth of the port on the left. So I drew a little sketch of where the horn sits. That way I can screw the holes, or drill the holes, I should say, from the inside out, instead of going from the outside in. And I put them really close to the edge over here because I don't want to accidentally screw into the plexiglass, as you can see. They might not look perfect, but... <clears throat> anyway. to the uh I get it all screwed down.
stern deal. Nothing was split, thankfully. This is 11 ply, by the way. stationary. I didn't put it all the way in because I'm not sure exactly what I want to say. Definitely don't want to strip these holes. <laughs> That'll totally defeat the purpose of everything. Yeah, there's one at the very end. I did that off camera. some glue seepage. <clears throat> if there's any gaps in the front after I screw it down, don't worry, because I'm going to cock it from the inside. I'm going to make this thing uh, airtight for sure. I'm going to put some, some liquid nails. I'm going to definitely cock the edges of the uh, plexiglass at the inside too. See how far we get with this today because this caulking might take a day to dry. See how I went along the edge with the uh, screws in the vicinity of the Plexiglass, so that I, because then if I screw in the middle, it's gonna push it out. Probably crack it. And, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna fill these holes yet. I could do that definitely, but I kind of like how it looks. It has that uh, equipment look, you know, the uniform. Kind of reminds me of a, a bass horn that you'd see in a concert or on stage. This one's going to be way different though. It's going to have lights. These lights are going to they're going to flicker to the uh, to the music like a synthesizer. It's going to be cool. Yeah. I wouldn't call myself a carpenter. I'm almost one though. My dad is actually a master carpenter. But I'm not. <laughs> Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and stay tuned because we're going to finish this.